Hello everyone, I'm the property strategist Stephen Chong. My channel is about property investment and today I'm going to share with you what will happen to the Singapore property prices when the economy crisis happens. I believe many of you have experienced the crisis before. For me myself, I have experienced a few times. However, I was too young to understand Asian financial crisis in 1997 and dot-com bubble in the year of 2000. Then the Lehman Brothers crisis in 2008 happened before my university graduation. I remember that time, the stock market slumped for more than half of its origin price. Even for the largest company in Singapore, DBS share price dive from the peak at $24 in 2007 to the bottom at $7 only in 2009. Let's take a look at the Singapore real estate performance during the crisis in 2008. Singapore non-landed private residential price index dropped from the peak at 132.3 in December 2007 to the lowest at 97.3 in February 2009. It took 14 months falling from the peak to the bottom. Right after that, it took another 14 months to beat the previous high record. That means the economic recession in 2008 held up the Singapore private property price for 28 months. However, do you know how long for DBS to recover from the previous high? 10 years! Oh yeah, by the way, STI index never meet to the previous peak since 2007. Sales volume drop. It's very common for the private property will turn conservative during the recession. The cyber dropped from the high 3.5% to below 1%. Every homeowner can benefit as they can refinance at a better rate. Back in 2008, there was no SSD, no ABSD, and no TDSR, and the loan limit was 90% of the property price. Anyone can just book a unit today and sell it to the next buyer on the next day at a higher price for profit. As a result, many of them don't work for full-time job. But to sneak the attractive profit from the price difference. So when the crisis came, they got burned and not able to hold their property any longer. Subsequently, caused the selling climax. And that is why the property price falling sharp back then in 2008 crisis. Now we have so many rounds of cooling measure in place. Do you expect the same outcome during the next crisis? The existing cooling measure is able to control the price. Cooling measures can either tighten to slow down the price from going too high or ease to avoid the price from sliding. We saw the example in early 2017. The private property price index keeps falling for almost four years after the TDSR imposed. Then in March 2017, the government relaxed the cooling measure by shortening the seller's stamp duty from four years to three years. Then the property price is going up fast Still, they need another set of cooling measures in July 2018. Singapore non landed private residential price index shows two years, four months to recover from economic crisis, but took five years to recover from TDSR effect. In short, the effect of TDSR is greater than the economy recession. Rather than waiting for the short-term low, 
during the economic outbreak, you may end up paying more. Actually, you just have to exercise your due diligence and buy within your finance capability. Buy and wait for the price appreciation. Such gains are likely to be higher over long term than who keep waiting for the price to drop. This episode ends here. Contact me if you wish to know which property will win against the economic crisis. Thank you for watching. See you next time.